one very big major thing, actually, for those of us who've been dying to see this Michael Fassbender Assassin's Creed. It was delayed and then delayed and then delayed, but they have now released an official first look at Michael Fassbender in his Assassin's Creed outfit, looking pretty badass, I gotta say. Now, also, in the article that came out with this, and this was on Yahoo Movies, by the way, everybody, we've been wondering who is he going to play, which character is he going to play, well, he's playing a character that has never been in the video games. They're calling him, the name of his character is Calum Lynch. Uh, and if you're wondering where he is, the movie isn't retelling any of the existing games, but rather introducing new characters into the same world. Now, it does sound a lot like the game lore, because this is what it writes up. It says, Lynch discovers that he is a descendant of the secret assassin society through unlocked genetic memories that allow him to relive the adventures of his ancestor Aguilar in the 15th century Spain. After gaining incredible knowledge and skills, he is poised to take on the oppressive Knights of Templar in the present day. So very much an Assassin's Creed sounding movie. Clearly things are now moving full steam ahead. Our first look, I was not expecting to see this uh, for a while, to be honest. I think he looks incredible. He looks like he's come right off the cover of one of the games. I, this picture, it's just a picture. If the picture had been garbage, it wouldn't have made me any more worried about the movie. So I'm not going to get any much more excited about the idea of Assassin's Creed. But it's hard to hold my enthusiasm because that... That just looks fantastic, and Fastbender looks great. And what are your thoughts on it? See, I would be a little nervous if the picture was um, garbage and not authentic, just because not that it would have too much of a tell on how bad the movie is, but it's a, whether or not the people who are making it are being authentic to, what, or at least trying, trying, yeah. right? And you're right; he looks right out of the game. He looks like when we get that fantastic fan art from the fans, and you're yeah. just like, "Wow, that looks incredible! I can't believe they actually put us in Jedi robes. We look like that looks like incredible." Well done fan art, but it's also it's just it's amazing how like, like when I saw the picture first, I'm like, oh, somebody just did an amazing job. But that's because that's what I exactly want him to look like. And as far as the story goes, um, as long as they're still in the mythology, I'm okay with it being a new character. I don't necessarily need to be Ezio or anything. I agree. Those lines. I, it, that's it's fine. I mean, maybe they didn't say that they wouldn't mention those characters. Maybe they'll mention those characters. Maybe if the game, excuse me, if the movie's successful, they can introduce some of those characters down the line. Who knows? Maybe they won't. But I, I think that we have a good shot of this being a very good telling of a video game movie because X Men First Class, when you, when Fassbender brought what he brought to Magneto, that one scene in the bar when he's going up against those Nazis, <laughs> the emotion yeah. in his eyes. That's the kind of emotion you want in this character in Assassin's Creed. So yeah, I, I, so far I like what I'm hearing and I love the look. Mark? Yeah, I mean, if I'm the Knights of Templar, I'm calling a meeting right now because I'm nervous. <laughs> like, wait, let's get a room at the Hyatt and talk about this because that guy scares the crap out of me. That's what I want to see. And not only am I not bothered that they're making him a new character, I think it's probably the right play because so oftentimes with video game films recently, you see them try to stick too much to what the video game story is, and it just doesn't play out the same way in a cinematic form. So having some freedom while still keeping a foot in that world and steeped in the mythology sounds like the right move to me. And just the picture alone, we don't know too much about it. It's just him in the Assassin's Creed getup, but it does look awesome. So finally, we get some good news as far as a production going forward with this flick.